bit more sunshine, but we've got to break down that wedge that we had developing earlier today. You have had some cloud thinning as we go to the east, but we're looking at those mountain storm chances lingering and some showers still overnight. We're also going to bring in some storm chances as we go through Monday, thanks to a cold front. So active weather, you can see the spin here and that upper low will eventually kick everything out. But we're also looking at tropical activity that could impact us a little later in the week. We'll talk more about Sally coming up. Showers here though from Morganton through Boone lifting in. They've been heavier at times, but starting to taper off just a little bit now that we're getting into the overnight hours. You're looking at that front just stretched out down to our south along Charlotte and back to the west up into the mountains. Your temperatures at 70 in Winston Salem, 69 in Greensboro, got you at 72 elsewhere with east northeasterly winds. And we continue to look at temperatures that warmed into the low 80s in Burlington, where you did have a little bit more sunshine trying to peek through those clouds. 77 in Greensboro for highs today, 61 in the mountains tomorrow morning. We do have scattered showers in the morning, some drizzle fog, as we mentioned. We even may see some cloud thinning in the mountains, but it's going to be harder to come by. Your rain chances are dropping off until we get you into late afternoon and evening with a thunderstorm or two. 74 for a high there. 68 degrees in the foothills with 81 degrees for an afternoon high in Mount Airy and East Bend. Even there, I think you're going to get a good bit of sunshine. Then thunderstorm activity developing later into the evening hours. We have a couple of storms that might kind of spill through to the east as we get you out over the mountains. And this could keep us in a rather muggy pattern for folks and then thunderstorms popping up later. I've got you dry for now across parts of the tribe, but as we get you into the overnight hours and early Monday, showers, even an isolated storm, not out of the question. Here's that front. It's going to lift north. It's going to fade and lift as a warm front as we go into your Sunday afternoon. The timing of all this is the trouble. If we can get it to get out of here quickly, then we will warm up. We'll see those temperatures in the 80s and that sunshine coming through. But if it lingers a little bit longer, it might impact our temperatures tomorrow. I'm still optimistic for the 80s. We've got the showers here developing overnight into early morning Monday, right ahead of the cold front. That front is going to come in, bringing a few thunderstorms, and then it's also going to possibly bring in some spotty heavy downpours, the kind that we've seen over the last couple of days. We're also looking at muggy conditions in 80s until we get you into your Tuesday. Then we dry out and we cool down just a little bit through middle of the week before more tropical moisture tries to impact us going into your Thursday and Friday. So Paulette, Renee, we've got top, tropical depression 20. This system here is what folks are investigating in the National Hurricane Center. We're thinking that this is going to become Teddy or at least tropical depression number 21 within the next few days. And so Teddy or Vicky, yeah, those are the next two names. We may run out of names by the time we get to Wilfred because we're also looking at little area that's west of Sally. Sally continues to spin. Of course, that's a big storm that we're worried about in the Gulf of Mexico, but we've got uh, off the coast of Bermuda, Paulette. This one will impact them through middle of the week about the same time or maybe just a day later that Sally will be impacting folks in the Gulf of Mexico. So Bermuda, we've got a category two hurricane there, category one for folks when it comes to Sally. Yeah, very active weather. This is Renee here that should spin out as we get you through middle of the week and we may see TD 20 becoming a hurricane as well. Let's hope it doesn't impact you know, uh, areas in Bermuda on the heels of that system as well. Here's Tropical Storm Sally. We continue to see this move in. The track takes it right now between Grand Isle, Louisiana through Biloxi, Mississippi. And this system could continue to move north and east and eventually may wrap in some of those remnants for us as we get you into Thursday and Friday. Wind gusts tonight, 40, 45 miles an hour, starting to increase in those rainfall totals, coming up to about 18 inches in a few spots where folks in New Orleans may be impacted by Tuesday morning.